Hey, today I'm gonna to teach you the magic of contouring. So there's several different products on our website that you can choose from to contour. You choose what's right for you, what you like, the, the depth of your contouring. So if you want a very dramatic look, we have different products. So I'm gonna go ahead and put primer on my face. I'm gonna let that set. And then I'm just gonna do a quick of, the goal when contouring is to change the shape of your face. You wanna enhance some, and you want to, some places to not be enhanced. So if you have a round face, like I, I have more slightly oval, sometimes it's more round depending. So I contour here, you can see that, and then um, where the shadows are, and then where the lighting is supposed to be, you wanna brighten that up. So we are going to use, this is my favorite, is the Beachfront Bronzer to contour because it is the fastest way to contour. And with me having a gazillion children, I don't always have time for to take time to do my makeup. I want the quickest look and still look like a rock star. So this one has the matte finish and the sparkle. And it doesn't matter which one you use. I kind of just use both, depending. You can use this as a blusher. You can use it all over your face. You have the darker side, the lighter side. So I am going to, if you also suck in your cheeks and make that line and then you can do more of a triangle so you can make this a little wider and then thin it out when it comes to here um, the best thing to do is to google your shape face because everyone's different and see what is the best contouring style for you so you learn this is what's best for me but everyone has a different shape face so you want to contour the sides of your nose if you want have like a fat nose if you want to just thin your nose out which is why i want to do my nose there's nothing wrong with my nose but i just like doing this because i see in pictures it looks better when you have your own shadow on your face so i'm going to do the side here see the difference And most of the time I do this after I put on my foundation. And you can do it before and you can do it after and you can just blend it together. Um, I like to use the full coverage foundation first so I cover everything. And then I use that as a blank canvas and then that's when I use the concealer and the speech front bronzer to contour my face. If you want to contour your face first and then put this stuff on, that's up to you. A lot of people put concealer on first and then put their foundation on. I use my concealer strictly to contour, not to cover up any blemishes, but just enhance stuff. So that's why I normally just put it on after. Today I am just contouring to show you different ways to do it. And you want to just lightly, you're going to start from your hairline and you're going to just brush out a little bit. You're not going to do a straight line. You're just, you're just giving it a little shadow. So just a little... Um, if you have a big forehead, you want more up top. If your forehead is perfect, you want just more on the edge because you're giving it, you want this part to more, look more like an oval, so you're giving it a shadow. But I have a five head, so I go all the way around, and it just helps a little bit. I don't even, I don't think anything will help, but it's okay. So another trick is if you put a darker here and a lighter here, it enhances that. So this will make you look like you have a pouty lip more. Let's get some more. And then if you put the concealer here or whichever you're using for your um, light version of your contour, you'll put here and that will enhance this and the arch of your lips. Another thing is you'll want to put it here so you can see where your face ends. Because if you have like a, a big neck, double chin, or all that, you want you want that ending because it's just gonna look like it blends together. So go ahead and do that. I put it here on my double chin because it gives it a shadow and then it's not as noticeable. See, it just looks like a shadow now. So that is what I use. And then again, with different face, different shaped faces, you're going to contour in different areas in a different style. So make sure you're Googling what is right for you. 
So next we're gonna, I'm gonna use my contour, which is, um, when you contour your, if you're using concealer to contour, it should be um, two shades lighter, um, depending on, and then if you're just using it for concealer, a shade lighter, mine is just, mine is actually organza in my um, stick foundation or organza. But um, it still brightens it up a little bit. Next time I would go in different tones. So you want to do more of a triangle, not just straight under your eyes. Because if you just do that, you're going to look like you wore glasses at the tanning bed or something. So you want to do a triangle and you want to go up. And then you're going to do that here. And then you're going to blend this so it's not going to just look like this all day. And then another thing is you want to make some um, the light on your forehead right here. So you can put this like this. And again, you're going to blend it so it's not going to stay like this. And then that line going to the tip of your nose to give it lighting. And then remember right here. See? So then... Other people might have other places where they want to um, contour, but this is for me. And then I'm not going to add the foundation just to show you. And then so you'll take a blending brush or whatever foundation brush, whatever brush. I'm going to use the um, Kabuki brush and just show you that you don't, you don't smear it. You just lightly pat it and you're going to blend that in. And if you have the foundation on or you're going to put it on after that's when you're going to put it on with this and you're just going to blend those spots that you don't have anything. Um, especially if you have the full coverage foundation. If you put that right over your contouring, it's, it's not going to be as noticeable. Um, and for the beachfront bronzer, it'll probably cover it up all the way. So you just want to just blend And then I would add my foundation on afterwards. I'm just going to add it in the spots that I need it and just blend it all together more. But this is contouring and it gives you your face a different shape and it enhances the good parts and covers up whatever you want to cover up. So you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.